Good morning, you're watching a special edition of BBC Breakfast from BBC News with Charlie State and Naga Manchetti. More than 120 people have been killed in Paris and more than 200 are injured in a series of attacks across the city. At least eight suicide bombers targeted the National Stadium, a concert hall, bars and restaurants. I saw two young men, no older than 25, with Kalashnikovs. They told us to lie down. I was under other people. The worst bloodshed was at a rock concert where more than 80 people were taken hostage and shot dead. President Hollande has declared a national emergency and restricted travel through the country's borders. These terrorists that are capable of such atrocities need to know that they will be confronted by a France that is determined, unified and pulled together. Good morning, it's Saturday the 14th of November. We're going to keep you up to date on this special edition of BBC Breakfast, our main story this morning. Around 120 people have died after the deadliest violence that Paris has seen in decades. The details still emerging this morning. Paris itself has been locked down and there are restrictions on the French borders. A national state of emergency has been declared across the country. Its borders have been severely restricted with security after at least 120 people were killed in this series of deadly attacks. Over a three-hour period last night, gunmen and suicide bombers targeted a number of locations across the city. ...are dead. Seven of the eight who died blew themselves up. They are looking for possible accomplices. No group has yet said it carried out the attacks. Terror returns to Paris, a series of attacks on crowded bars, restaurants and a concert hall, leading France to declare a state of emergency. Gunfire on the streets. Explosions were heard at the Stade de France Stadium where the national team was playing. Police stormed a concert where gunmen were shooting hostages. At least 80 people are feared dead here. Three of the attackers blew themselves up as police closed in. A fourth was shot dead. I saw two young men, no older than 25, with Kalashnikovs. They told us to lie down. There was one who kept gesturing for us to get down. We all lay down. The whole room lay down. I was under other people and they kept shooting. France's president visited the scene with a defiant message to those behind the attacks. We wanted to be here, among all those who saw these atrocious things, to say that we are going to fight and our fight will be merciless, because these terrorists that are capable of such atrocities need to know that they will be confronted by a France that is determined, unified and pulled together, and a France that will not let itself be overawed, even if today it is expressing an infinite amount of emotion at this drama and this tragedy, which was an abomination and a barbaric act. David Cameron said his thoughts and prayers were with the French people. The Prince of Wales has sent the French president a message of profound sympathy. In New York, the top of One World Trade Center was lit up red, white and blue in solidarity with France. Paris itself represents the timeless values of human progress. Those who think that they can terrorize the people of France or the values that they stand for are wrong.
This is a BBC News special programme on the terror attacks in Paris. I'm Gavin Esler in the headlines. At least 127 people are dead after a series of coordinated gun and bomb attacks across the French capital. Many of the victims were murdered at the Bataclan Theatre behind me. Uh, gun, gunmen fired into the audience before security forces stormed the hall. We all lay down, the whole room lay down. I was under other people and they kept shooting. Security is tight in Paris this morning. The president has declared a state of emergency and closed the country's borders. He's described the attacks as an act of war. Hello, good morning and welcome to BBC News. A state of emergency has been declared in France after at least 127 people were killed and 180 wounded, many of them critically, in a series of coordinated attacks across Paris. Gunmen and suicide bombers went on the rampage. They struck at popular bars, at restaurants, at a concert hall and the National Stadium. Six separate attacks took place during several hours of violence. Of those killed, 80 died after gunmen burst into the Bataclan concert hall as an American rock band were playing. Hostages were taken before French security forces stormed the venue. At least 127 people are now known to have died in the terror attacks here in Paris last night. The French president has said they were an act of war by so-called Islamic State. Gunmen dressed in black and armed with Kalashnikovs and suicide vests carried out coordinated attacks at six separate locations. All eight assailants are dead, seven blew themselves up. Police stormed a concert venue where 80 people died. Witnesses have spoken of their horror. We all lay down, the whole room lay down. I was under other people and they kept shooting. Bombs were detonated at the Stade de France stadium as the French football team were playing Germany. Islamic State says it carried out the attacks President Francois Hollande said France would be merciless in its response to terrorism. An act of war that was committed by a terrorist army, a jihadist army against France. And in London, David Cameron has called the attacks sickening. He's chaired a meeting of the government's Cobra Emergency Committee. Hello, good afternoon from the centre of Paris. We're outside the Bataclan concert venue where most of the victims of last night's terror attacks were killed, at least 80 people here alone. Well, President Hollande of France has called it an act of war. He's declared three days of mourning across France and a state of emergency. 127 people at least have died in the attacks and many more have been injured, many of them critically ill this afternoon. It is the worst act of violence in Paris since the Second World War. President Hollande said it was the work of so-called Islamic State. He said organized and planned from outside France. And in the last hour or so, IS has claimed responsibility for the attacks, saying they were a response to French military action against Islamic State in Syria. Well, let us just talk you through the coordinated attacks as they unfolded last night. The first one happened at around 9 o'clock in the 10th arrondissement at Le Carillon Bar. Witnesses say a masked gunman with a rifle opened fire. 
and then moved on to a Cambodian restaurant nearby. Twelve people died in this street alone. Soon afterwards, there was another attack at the Casa Nostra pizzeria. Witnesses saw at least five more bodies here. Then, three suicide bombers blew themselves up outside the Stade de France Stadium, where a football match was being played between France and Germany. Well, the next gun attack was at La Belle Equipe Bar in the 11th arrondissement, where at least 19 people died. And then finally, more than 80 people are known to have been killed after gunmen stormed the Bataclan concert venue, where I am now, where a rock concert was being held. This is BBC News. I'm Anita McVeigh, bringing you live coverage of the aftermath of a night of terror in Paris. The headlines. Gunmen armed with Kalashnikovs and suicide vests went on the rampage at six sites. All eight attackers are dead. Seven blew themselves up. At a theatre where 80 died, footage of people hanging from windows and fleeing around bodies. We were piled up on each other. We heard the shots, people screaming as though tortured. It was butchery, carnage. Bombs were detonated at the Stade de France Stadium while the French team played Germany. The so-called Islamic State group say they carried out the attacks. President Hollande said France would be pitiless in its response to terrorism. It's an act of war that was committed by a terrorist army, Daesh, a jihadist army against France. And tributes pour in for the victims of Paris's second major terror attack in a year amid fears that more accomplices are still at large. Good afternoon and welcome to BBC News. President Francois Hollande has declared last night's attacks in Paris, in which at least 127 people died as an act of war. He spoke following the country's worst atrocity in modern history. My colleague Ben Brown is in Paris. Ben. Yes, the latest death toll the authorities are telling us at the moment is 127. About 180 people were injured in last night's attacks. Around half of them are critically ill, and there are fears that that uh, death toll will rise. We're here at the scene of one of the six attacks at the Bataclan uh, concert hall there behind me. That is where some 80 people were killed as they were watching an American rock band. About 1,500 people had been crammed into that theater when four gunmen uh, burst in and there was uh, quite a long siege as they uh, started shooting people those four gunmen three of them blew themselves up with their suicide vests a fourth was shot dead by police but there were five other attacks as well now president Hollande of france has said that islamic state were responsible he says that the attacks here in paris were organized and planned from outside France. Now, Islamic State have claimed responsibility. They are saying that uh, the attacks that we've seen here in Paris were a direct response to uh, the French military intervention, the French airstrikes against Islamic State in Syria. Let's just talk you through the attacks as they unfolded last night. As I say, they were coordinated, it seems, and pretty much simultaneous. The first one happened at around 9 o'clock.
BBC One earlier than build, especially extended news with Hugh Edwards. Today at six, we're in the heart of Paris, a city in profound shock after the worst terror attack in Europe for over a decade. A wave of gun and bomb attacks across the city has left 130 dead, with many more injured. Most of those killed were attending a rock concert. As the extensive rescue operation got underway, amid much confusion, the government immediately imposed a national state of emergency. We all lay down, the whole room lay down. I was under other people and they kept shooting. We were piled up on each other. We heard the shots, people screaming as though tortured. It was butchery, carnage. One of the attacks happened at the Stade de France stadium where France were playing football and the president was in the crowd. It's an act of war that was committed by a terrorist army, a jihadist army against France. There is a very strong police and military presence on the streets of the city as the French try to comprehend the second major terror attack this year. France has started three days of national mourning as millions of messages of sympathy and solidarity arrive from around the world. We'll have full details of the events of the past 24 hours. We'll have reaction here in France and from around the world and French prosecutors are preparing in the next few minutes to share the latest information they have about who they think might have been responsible. Good evening from the heart of Paris, a city which is in deep shock today um, because last night saw the biggest terror attack that Europe has suffered in over a decade, the biggest attack here in France on French soil since the end of the Second World War. A wave of gun and bomb attacks directed at bars and restaurants, at a football stadium and at a concert hall, a theatre. And if you can see the, uh, the neon yellow lights over there, just over my left shoulder, that is the Bataclan concert hall where most of the people lost their lives last night, at least 80 of them. We think 130 people in total have died. There are hundreds injured and there are around 80 people who are acutely injured and in a state of absolute emergency, according to the uh, French medical services. President Hollande, the President of the Republic, addressed the French nation on television today. He said that this, in his view, had been a declaration of war by Islamic State. He ordered three days of national mourning and he ordered a state of national emergency.